and uh, welcome to this reconvened meeting of the calling on early years and um, children's centre provision. Can I start with taking apologies for us? Um, and I think it's probably worth it, I can't remember the public, I think. Well, my glasses don't let me see that far. Um, I think it's probably well to have introductions. I'm Councillor Warren McLaughlin, and I'm Chair of the Coordination Committee, um, that will we'll do this um, using the Thank you. So, just one minute, leave the room, sir. Phil Gilchrist, Councillor. Walter Smith, Councillor. Jay Williams, Councillor. Ivan Williams, Councillor. Philip Brighton, Councillor. Mike Sullivan, Councillor. Rob Gregson, Councillor. Uh, Paul Dowdy, Councillor for Brenton. And Vice Chair of the Committee. Jack Williamson, Councillor. Mike Allen, Scrutiny. And Joe Barton, Strategic Director. Um, thanks everybody. Um, can I have moved item two on the agenda, which um, is uh, where I ask members to declare if they have any interest uh, in the I'm 
obviously my paper was uh, sent me over two weeks ago, and uh, I, I had a telephone call today uh, asking me, do I have the papers? And I, this is why when I came into the meeting tonight. The question I'm asking is, is anybody check. else not? I certainly had mine two weeks ago. I think ago. the answer I'm getting is yeah. no. Okay. Can I see too? Do we get a sense of that problem? Well, I'm going to ask Sir, uh, Sergis if you would like to just explain what procedure is for distributing the papers, and then we'll see where we are after that. Okay. The process uh, which members will be familiar with hasn't changed in relation to the publication of this particular agenda. Uh, we do use the Council's Mobile System in order to distribute electronically and all make available to you uh, and appropriately to have access to information concerning your agendas and reports and minutes and any other supporting documentation. Um, you would normally receive, and I have no reason to building on this occasion, you would not receive communication electronically. And letting you know that the agenda has been published for the particular meeting to which you are assigned, um, and that would have gone out uh, once the agenda has been formally published through the system. Um, as is usual, uh, we will also ensure uh, and endeavour always to provide hard, hard, hard copies of relevant paperwork um, with the agendas and so on to you. And as you know, that is the Friday delivery that you will ordinarily receive, and occasionally that is changed uh, for various reasons, but on this occasion, there was no need. Delivery on the 30th of January, which um, would have been to contain all agenda items, uh, uh, sorry, all agendas uh, for forthcoming meetings for the following week and beyond. Uh, as I understand it, my inquiries, um, I can't offer an explanation as to why members have not received their agendas. The process, as we always adopt, has been followed, as I understand the truth. I have spoken to officers who were involved in actually collating and putting together member packs that felt delivered on. On that Friday, um, and they recall providing the agendas and the labels that will also be attached. As to how and why it is the case that members have not received um, their, uh, their, their agendas, I really can't provide any explanation for that other than to reassure members that the process that we normally follow has indeed been followed on this occasion. Well, you can, but I mean, that's a statement of fact. Oh, okay. I'm going to disagree with what um, Sergeant says, except obviously there's no explanation from what you say about why we didn't receive the paperwork. I think it's within everybody's interest that's in this room tonight for this meeting to go ahead. However, um, I wasn't supposed to be on this meeting, um, but I found out that I could be. Therefore, I wouldn't be looking for a notice of the agenda coming up on the, the internet. But what I would like to say is there is a precedent that's been set by the Council. But a uh, call in, I think, uh, by another party for Lynn, the Lindale, um, somebody hadn't been, a witness hadn't been sent their paperwork, therefore the meeting was postponed. And was also in audit last year, councillors were actually sent the paperwork, but because it was about a foot high, um, I think it was Councillor Hale had objected only to having a week to read it. The chair agreed, I think it was Councillor Crabtree, and the meeting was put back uh, for about a month. I'm sure you remember that, Serge. So there is a precedent, I think it's just that I feel, because there's been such a gap and we're starting this meeting sort of in the middle, that, that we really need to get to grips with the paperwork. I understand the point you're making, and it is fortunate, I think, that most of the paperwork you will have before will be familiar with. Um, I, I also agree, you, need, you do need time, and I'm looking for a suggestion, yes, can I you don't? I mean, Chair, I mean, excuse me, Chair, I mean, obviously <coughs> it's unfortunate that members have the paperwork, but I mean, I've got an electronic copy of, of all the paperwork. This is just a backup to me. Um, but, uh, I mean, can I suggest perhaps an adjournment for a, a period of time? Yeah, to yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah. To I'm, I'm, I'm thinking an hour, two hours, would you like to adjourn for it as you've got time? <coughs> in, in essence, Leah, um, the part that you really need to familiarise yourself with is the briefing note. It's ten pages long. So I think, what, what, an hour, two hours, what do you think would be suitable? I think it's unacceptable to
which some members haven't had time to read, as you say, is a summary of what happened when the persons, all of us present, were present last time. It may well help me remember things, because I don't know why I went upstairs and things like that, but it might have been about three months, and it did. I think it's fair that there should be time for people to read those things if they didn't receive them. I wouldn't be happy about postponing or meeting indefinitely because we have people who take taking time to get here tonight and they exactly. might have childcare and other responsibilities that exactly. I wouldn't want to delay it further. I'm also very conscious that we, because the rules say no action can be taken when something's called in, there will be a need for staff and other consultations to be taking place which haven't had been able to take place if no action has been taken. So it would be unreasonable to delay it even further. Is that three suggestions we've got? Well, we'll go to yeah. Contextual, contextual, have an hour. An hour. Okay. Well, I'll put the two and let's start with a bit. Yeah, just this, this might sort it out. This might sort it out. I'm very conscious that it would be inviting the witnesses back for a third time. Mm. Um, I, want, I would like it noted. Uh, I would like to urge you to investigate further why we haven't had the paperwork. But in spite of that, I actually don't think that we've just got to read 10 pages within an hour. So, because we, we want this to go ahead as much as anybody else, but it, it's not on that we didn't receive the paperwork. I think there needs to be a thorough investigation, yes, so but we would go for half, half an hour. Well, we've got agreement on half an hour. Well, uh, can I just, if I open the first line up, we did receive electronic information. Yes, I, I, think, I think the points made will be recorded, and I certainly think that Sergio will be looking in more detail at what could have happened to, to, to explain why you didn't have it. Yes, yes, you are not to get exactly the confusion that there has been. However, in the interest of progress, we accept half an hour adjournment. We're going to comment before we go. I think it's quite a safe point here. We all knew this meeting was happening. If someone didn't get their papers, there's plenty of time to have rung up and said, where are my papers? I mean, I've never known it. I, I've always got my papers. I can never remember in 35 years never getting my papers. But I'm sure if I'd rung up, I would have got them. And I, as I said, I was rung today to say, have you got your papers? I said, are they the papers I got a fortnight ago? They said, yes. And I checked again when I came tonight. So I think it's ridiculous that somebody didn't check before they came to the meeting. Okay, you've made that point, but we will still have that seconded. I think we've had enough.